What if Kobe was never traded to the LA Lakers and instead started out his NBA career on the Charlotte Hornets, the team that drafted him? How differently would his career turn out? I don't have those answers, but we are definitely going to be finding that out as we have an 18-year-old Kobe, 82 overall on the Charlotte Hornets, who literally just won the NBA title last season. I have no idea how Larry Johnson was the finals MVP. Obviously, Shaq and the Miami Heat have been dominating. MJ has two rings as well. We are in the 1996 NBA. NBA season and we have a rookie Kobe now on the Charlotte Hornets instead of the LA Lakers LA never traded for him so it's a much different story here now for the entire NBA obviously MJ right now is the best at a 95 overall Shaq is a 94 he has been low-key dominating as soon as he got to the NBA He's a three-time MVP, two-time champ, and two-time finals MVP. David Robinson is a 93. Carl 13 Malone's a 92. Jay Kidd is up there. Chris Webber's a 91. And we are going to see how differently Kobe's career would pan out if he played or if he started out his career on the Charlotte Hornets instead of the LA Lakers. Now, I'm not going to force Kobe to stay on the Hornets his entire career, but I am going to make him stay there for probably about five years. After that, he's free to go wherever he wants to. If he wants to go to LA, LA, sure that's fine with me now if you guys do enjoy videos like this make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel turn on notifications so you don't miss a single upload that i post and now let's see if kobe can still go down as a top 10 player of all time so shaq is gonna go on and win the mvp having another monster season Allen iverson is gonna win the rookie of the year the sixth man to michael adams and shaq also is gonna take home the dpoi i don't believe kobe is gonna make any of the all nba teams he would be on a rookie team though who'd end up making the second rookie team averaging 16 2 and 4 so a pretty good rookie season better than he did in real life especially efficiency wise charlotte is going to end up being the five seed going 44 and 38 again miami is dominating with Shaq in the east and in the west the portland trailblazers with clyde drexler chris weber is going to lead the nba in scoring at 28 a game followed by j kids 26 glenn robinson was up there Shaq averaging 27 jordan is only averaging 24 6 and 6 so he's not really lighting the the NBA on fire like he did in real life and unfortunately Miami is going to beat us in the second round in six games as they would go on and win the NBA title Shaq is your finals MVP averaging 30 and 16 as they swept the trailblazers Isaiah Thomas has retired after 16 years 36 years old averaging 12 and 6 for his final season and it looks like Tim Duncan is actually going to go first overall to the LA Lakers so technically if it went like it did in real life Kobe and Tim Duncan John Chauncey Billups is going to be going to the Bucks, T-Mac to the Sixers. I don't believe the Hornets picked up anybody too significant here. Kobe now is up to an 88 overall, 19 years of age. Obviously, he's still on his rookie deal, and he's already tied for the best player on his team alongside Larry Johnson, who's in the prime of his career. I mean, we didn't have a bad rookie season at all. We made the playoffs, made the second round. Hopefully, Kobe can just keep on improving. Shaq, again, is going to go home with another MVP. Tim Duncan's going to win the Rookie of the Year. Michael Adams is six man, and Shaq, again, the DPOI. Kobe is going to end up making the third team, averaging 26, 3, and 4 assists a game, shooting 40% from the three-point line. That is a very good improvement off of last season. I mean, he's only a 19-year-old kid at the moment. We already have a lot of time left, and he's already averaging 26 points a game. Meanwhile, the Hornets are going to be the two seed, going 58 and 24. Obviously, Miami is still dominating, and in the West, the Phoenix Suns, who honestly don't really have that great of a team, but they are the one seed in the West. And well, well, the Charlotte Hornets are not really going to have a tough time in the playoffs as Kobe has already made the NBA Finals. I mean, this team did win the title the year before he came here. We have a pretty good overall roster. Kobe's up to an 89. We're in the finals against the Blazers and Clyde Drexler. And the Charlotte Hornets are going to go on and win their second NBA championship in their franchise's history. First with Kobe in only his second season as the Mamba already 19 years of age is an NBA champion. I mean, he won rings very early on with LA, but he did have a prime Shaq on his team. Here in Charlotte, he does have Larry Johnson, but other than him, he's the best player on the team as we are going to be able to raise. Oh my God, look how small Muggsy Bogues is. Holy Lord, that dude is tiny. He can't even touch the Larry O'Brien trophy as Larry Johnson is going to be the finals MVP, not Kobe. I mean, Kobe didn't win the finals MVPs when he was on the same team as Shaq. In the closeout game, Kobe did drop 28 and 10. For the finals, Larry Johnson, 
Johnson is going to average 25 and 10 as we would defeat the Trailblazers in five games. Magic HIV Johnson has retired after 19 years, only averaging eight and six his final season, but luckily he did retire on the LA Lakers. Doc Rivers is out of here after 15 years. What is going on with Doc right now in real life? He's literally throwing everybody but himself on Milwaukee under the bus, saying that everybody is happy besides him and that they're not professional and everything. I don't know, man. It's an absolute shit show in Milwaukee right now. I have no faith in them to come out of the East whatsoever. Dirk is going to end up going first overall to the Milwaukee Bucks. Funny enough, I was just talking about them. Mike Bibby to the Sixers. Paul Pierce is also going to the Bucks. So that is going to be a duo for many years to come. Vince Carter will be going to the Clippers. Kobe now is the clear-cut best player on his team. He's a 92 overall, 20 years of age. I mean, he's still so early on in his career. He averaged 26 last season, of course. Won a championship, hopefully an MVP in the near future. Jason Kidd is going to go on and win the MVP, averaging 26 and 9. Dirk is going to be the rookie of the year to six men. Isaiah Ryder and Alonzo Mourning is going to take home the defensive player of the year award. Now for Kobe, he's going to make the second team, averaging 34 and 5 in only his third season in the NBA, shooting 42% from three. I mean, in this simulation, he's a much better three-point shooter. Already one of the best players in the NBA at 20 years old. He's a 93 overall at the moment. Charlotte, again, is going to be the two seed this time going 63 and 19 not far behind Miami in the west the LA Lakers they do have Ray Allen who's an 86 overall Glenn Robinson Tim Duncan is on the team as well Kobe is going to end up leading the entire NBA in scoring at 30 a game followed by Jay Kidd's 26 Joe Smith was up there Vin Baker AI not a lot of people really averaged that many points this season I'm kind of surprised Steve Nash did end up averaging 21 a game which is wild and somehow Miami is going to beat us in six games in the conference finals as we are not going back to back. Instead, Miami will go on and win another NBA title. Shaq again is the finals MVP. I mean, he's a four-time champion and four-time finals MVP at the moment. Also, five MVPs. He's going to go down as one of, if not the greatest player of all time as they dog walk the Lakers in five games in the finals. Elton Brand is going to go first overall to the Philadelphia 76ers. Steve Francis will go to the Trailblazers. Manu is going to the Knicks. Richard Hamilton to the Bucks. AK-47 to the Suns. Lamar Odom to the Cavs. Kobe now at 21 years of age is going to be up there for overalls at a 94. Kobe now only 21 years old, but he's a 94 overall. One of the best players in the world today. Technically the second best player in the entire NBA, only behind Kevin Garnett, who's a 95. And this Hornets team still can contend for at least a couple more seasons before players start getting older. AI is going to go ahead and win his first MVP averaging 26 and 10. Manu is going to be the rookie of the year. The six Men, Nepeja, Stoyakovich, and Shaq is going to win the DPOY. And for Kobe, he's going to end up making the second team again, this time averaging 31, 4, and 5 a game. With very good efficiency, I have no idea how he did not make the first team averaging these numbers. As the Charlotte Hornets again are going to be the 2C going 67 and 15. Meanwhile, the Sixers won 71 games. I mean, they do have Mike Bibby, AI, Grand Hill. Yeah, they do have a pretty good team. T-Mac is also there. In the West, the Lakers went 68 and 14, grabbing the 1 seed. Kobe, of course, is going to lead the NBA in scoring. Steve Nash Nash averaged 30 and 11. Joe Smith was up there. AI, Shaq, Ray Allen, Jason Kidd, all scoring at a high clip. And just like that, we are back in the NBA Finals, this time up against the LA Lakers and Tim Duncan and Ray Allen, who were both an 89 and 90 overall. Luckily for us, Kobe's all the way up at a 95. And we got absolutely ran over in the finals in five games as Tim Duncan is going to win the finals MVP, averaging 21 and 10. We really did not stand much of a chance up against the Lakers. Clyde Drexler is retired after 17 years. Patrick Ewing is out of here. Byron Scott is gone. Kenyon Martin is going to go first overall to the Denver Nuggets. Hudu Turkoglu will go to the Clippers. Kobe now, 22 years of age, 95 overall. Larry Johnson is still an 88 so he's still pretty good. Everybody else seems to be slowly decreasing year after year, but we did make the finals last season, and with a very young Kobe Bryant, we should be able to contend for at least four more seasons. Tim Duncan is going to win the MVP. Hidu Turkoglu, the rookie of the year. AI, the sixth man, after 
winning the MVP last season, I guess Philadelphia decided to move him to the bench. What on earth? Whoever would make that decision after literally winning the MVP, he's going to go to the bench. And Kevin Garnett is going to win the DPOI on the first team. Kobe luckily is going to make it, averaging 32, 5, and 6 a game alongside Jason Kidd, Tim Duncan, KG, and Marcus Camby. As again, for like the third season in a row, Charlotte is the two seed, this time going 59 and 23. Philly's the best in the East and the West. It was the Lakers as they went 59 and 23. Somehow the Indiana Pacers are going to roll over us in the second round in five games. It was not even close. As the Lakers are going to go on and win the NBA title, Ray Allen is your finals MVP, averaging 31 a game as they would defeat the Sixers in Game 7 of the Finals. Kevin McHale is out of here after 21 years. He got another ring on the Lakers before he retired. Paul Gasol is going to go second overall to the Portland Trailblazers. Gilbert Arenas to the Spurs. Man, Gilbert has been talking crazy on his podcast lately. First, he called out Jokic, calling him the worst MVP in 40 years, which is incorrect. And now he's flaming Luka for being, I don't know, an amazing European basketball player. But, but because he's European, he does not like him for some reason. Tony Parker to the Cavs. Joe Johnson to the Supersonics. Tyson Chandler to the Rockets, Jason Richardson to the Warriors, Richard Jefferson will go to the Clippers, Kobe is still going to be a 95 overall, our players are getting worse season after season, so that's a slight cause for some concern at least, Jason Kidd is going to go ahead and win another MVP, Gilbert Arenas, the rookie of the year, AI again the sixth man, his stats have gone way down, only averaging 19 and 8 assists a game now, and Shaq is going to win another DPOY, Kobe is going to make the first team, averaging 29, 4, and 6. Six, so a slight step back from the prior two seasons. J Kid, Tim Duncan, KG, and Shaq. As again, the Charlotte Hornets literally live in the two seed, going 58 and 24. Meanwhile, Philly, they went 73 and 9. Screw the Warriors. We got the 73 and 9 Sixers. We do have Mike Bibby, T Mac, Grant Hill, Elton Brand, AI coming off the bench. In the West, we have the Clippers being the one seed, going 54 and 28. And not really a surprise here as we got swept in the conference finals to the Sixers. As they would go on and win the NBA title, T-Mac is your finals MVP, only averaging 25 and 8, but those are pretty good stats as they defeated the Denver Nuggets in six games in the finals. Keem is out of here after 18 years, only averaging 19 and 1 his final season. He did play for the Detroit Pistons, leaving Houston. Chris Mullen is out of here after 17. Michael Adams is gone. Del Curry, the father of Steph Curry, or actually, I believe that's LeBron James. Karan Butler is going to go first overall to the Houston Rockets. Stoudemire will be going to the Jazz. Jay Williams to the Magic. Yao Ming actually fell all the way down to sixth overall to the Atlanta Hawks. Well, we are now entering the Kobe era of the 2000s. So hopefully he can start dominating winning MVPs and finals MVPs. So Kobe decided to shave his head and become a 97 overall, 24 years old, just barely entering the prime of his career. Larry Johnson's an 86, Greeny's an 83. Dirk is going to go ahead and win his very first MVP, averaging 26 and 10. JT Russell, the rookie of the year. AI again, the sixth man. And Shaq is going to win another defensive player of the year award his sixth of his career. Kobe is going to make the first team averaging 34, 5, and 6 now as we are the New Orleans Hornets and not the Charlotte Hornets. Kobe is going to end up making the first team averaging 34, 5, and 6 alongside Jay Kidd, Dirk, Tim Duncan, and Shaq as now we have moved to New Orleans. We are no longer the Charlotte Hornets. We are the New Orleans Hornets. And we are going to end up being the 3C going 54 and 28. Philly again is going to win 70 plus games. And in the West, the Denver Nuggets went 52 and 30. With honestly, uh, just an overall good team, but nobody really stands out. I mean, Kenyon Martin is an 88 overall, but outside of him, nobody really is a superstar. Bar Baron Davis is a 92 though. And again, we are going to lose in the second round, this time to the Milwaukee Bucks in six games. As they would go on and win the NBA championship, Chon Chauncey Billups is your finals MVP, averaging 23 and 9. John Stockton has retired after 19 years, 41 years old. He was pretty washed for at least the last like four seasons. LeBron is going to end up going first overall to the Atlanta Hawks. D Wade is going to Minnesota. Carmelo Anthony to the Jazz. Chris Bosh to the Bulls. Chris Kamen will go to the Rockets. Kobe now is in the prime of his career, 25 years old, still a 97 overall. Obviously, this roster is kind of depleted compared to what it was like three years ago. Luckily for us, Kobe does only have one year left on his deal until he hits free agency. 
and he can sign with whatever team he wants in the offseason. Tracy McGrady is going to win the MVP. LeBron, the rookie of the year, averaging 22-5-5. and Allen Iverson, the sixth man again, as it doesn't look like he's going to be moved to the starting lineup anytime soon. And Shaq's going to win the DPOI. Kobe is going to make the first team, averaging 33-7-5 a game alongside T-Mac, Chris Webber, Tim Duncan... And of course, Shaquille O'Neal, the big diesel. The Hornets are going to fall off a cliff, not even making the playoffs, being the 13th seed, going 28 and 54. Please, Kobe, do not return to this awful franchise next season. As Philly was the one seed in the East and in the West, it was the Denver Nuggets. And the Philadelphia 76ers are going to win the NBA title. Tracy McGrady is your finals MVP as they defeat the Nuggets in six games. MJ is gone after 20 years, 41 years old. Old, only averaging 11 points in his final season he was completely washed i mean he's no longer the goat in this universe only two titles three mvps and two finals mvps white howard is gonna go first overall to the memphis grizzlies Ameka okafor will go to the bobcats luau deng to the lakers and it looks like in the offseason kobe decided to join lebron in the atlanta hawks a 19-year-old LeBron James, who's an 88 overall, is now going to be teamed up with a prime Kobe Bryant. 26 years of age, 96 overall. We also have Yao Ming on the team. Shane Battier is here. He's a 26-year-old, 84 overall. This is a pretty good overall team. Gilbert Arenas is going to end up winning the MVP, averaging 31 a game. Dwight Howard is the rookie of the year. T-Mac, the sixth man. So maybe AI now is in the starting lineup and Shaq again, the DPOI. Kobe's going to end up making the second team, averaging 29, 6, and 5 alongside T-Mac, Tim Duncan, Vin Baker, and Elton Brand. As the Atlanta Hawks are going to be the 3 C, going 58 and 24 behind Cleveland and Philly, who won 67 games. In the West, the Denver Nuggets won 52 and 30. We literally got dominated by the Bucs in the conference finals in five games. It was not even remotely close, as they would go on and win another NBA championship. Chauncey Billups is your finals MVP, averaging 17 and 11. As Denver, again, is on the losing side in the finals. How many years in a row? They have lost in the NBA finals for the last four seasons, all in six games. This is literally unheard of. Never happened before in NBA history. The Denver Nuggets are the biggest losers in the NBA. Carl 13 Malone has retired after 19 years in the NBA, the same age as his current wife. CP3 is going to end up going first overall to the Boston Celtics. I feel like this happens a lot. Kobe now is a 96 overall. LeBron is up to a 93 and he's only 20 years old. So that duo is coming. Trust me. There's going to be multiple championships won here in Atlanta. Yao Ming's an 87. Shane Battier's an 87. LeBron is going to win his first MVP, averaging 33, 9, and 8. Chris Paul, the rookie of the year. And Tim Duncan's going to take home the DPOI. Kobe, on the other hand, was injured for a little bit. He did end up making the second team, averaging 33, 6, and 5 a game, shooting 50, 40, 90. He also ended up playing how many games here? 68, so... He didn't miss too many games in the regular season, as we would end up being the one seed going 69 and 13 in the West. The Spurs are dominant, 57 games that they won. Also on their team, they have Gilbert Arenas, who's their best player at a 92. And without Kobe in the very first round, we are going to lose to the Boston Celtics in game seven. If we had Kobe, we probably would have beat them, honestly, but LeBron alone could not beat the Boston Celtics early on in his career, just like in real life, as the Dallas Mavericks are going to go on and win the NBA title. Steve Nash is your finals MVP, averaging 24 and 10. Manute Bowl is out of here. He played 21 years, so he's got to be like 50 years old at this point. I know for 100% a fact this dude faked his birth date. LaMarcus Aldridge is going to go first overall to the Seattle Supersonics. Brandon Roy will go to the Grizzlies. Bargnani to the Heat. Rudy Gay to the Hornets. Kyle Lowry is going to be going to the Knicks. LeBron now is technically a better player than Kobe. One overall higher at a 95 compared to Kobe's 94. 21 years of age and 21-8 respectively. Yao Ming's up at an 87. Shane Battier also 87. So I mean as long as we are healthy we can compete for an NBA championship. I believe that. Gilbert Arenas is going to win the MVP averaging 37 a game. Bargnani the rookie of the year. Eric Tatum the sixth man and LeBron James the defensive player of the year award. 
board, also averaging 29, 8, and 9. Kobe's only going to make the third team, averaging 28, 5, and 5, so I guess technically a down season in terms of his standards. I'm low-key kind of surprised he didn't make the second team or even the first team. I mean, D-Wade was averaging 30 a game. Atlanta is going to end up being the one seed, going 63 and 19 in the West. It is still the Spurs. They won 61 games. I mean, somehow we are going to lose to the Pistons in six games in the very first round. We were down 3-0 in the series as well. I have no idea why we are having zero playoff success so far with LeBron and Kobe on the same exact team. As the Milwaukee Bucks are going to go on and win another NBA title. For some reason, Gilbert Arenas is going to be the finals MVP. That is not happening. Chauncey Billups is the finals MVP, averaging 20 and 8. Kevin Durant is going to go first overall to the Sacramento Kings. Greg Oden will go to the Hornets. Nick Young to the Suns. Joakim Noah to the Supersonics. Al Horford to the Wizards. Doesn't look like we picked up anybody in the draft, as we are the one seed. We're not going to be drafting very high. I really just don't understand how we have had basically zero playoff success so far in the Kobe and LeBron era. I mean, outside of very early on in our career, we've struggled as well in the playoffs. Braun's going to be a 96. Kobe himself is going to be a 94, almost 30 years old. So one year left on his deal. Time is running out. Hopefully he does resign in the offseason. Kobe now is going to be a 94 overall, almost hitting 30 years old. One year left on his deal. So technically he could leave in the offseason. Hopefully he does resign though. LeBron's up there at a 96, Yao Ming's an 87, Shane Battier 86. LeBron will go ahead and win another MVP, this time averaging 28, 9, and 9. Kevin Durant's going to be the Rookie of the Year. The sixth man is going to go to Anton Jameson. LeBron is also going to win the DPOI. Kobe is not going to end up making any of the All-NBA teams for the very first time in a long time. As I mean, he did have a pretty good season, averaging 25, 4, and 5, but not to the usual standard that he's at. Still shooting 50, 40, 90, but not putting up the... The big numbers like he did in the previous seasons the hawks again are going to be the one seed this time going 66 and 16 milwaukee was good as uh atlanta again is going to be the one seed going 66 and 16 in the west the houston rockets and finally we are back in the nba finals up against the houston rockets i mean we do have lebron and kobe as a duo they have a good squad but i mean i think we have a better one so let's see if Kobe can go on and win his second ring of his career. I literally cannot believe this. We blew a 3-1 lead in the NBA Finals to the Houston Rockets. I don't know why LeBron is going to take home the Finals MVP. Chris Kamen is your Finals MVP, averaging 16-6-5. As we lose in Game 7. We had a 3-1 lead. How does this happen? LeBron and Kobe choked a big time, man. Like, I, one of the biggest chokes in NBA history, honestly. D-Rose is going to go first overall to the Toronto Raptors. Kevin Love to the Bobcats. Russell Westbrook to the Hornets. Goran Dragic to the Timberwolves. Brooke Lopez to the Mavs. After that choke job, I have no idea how Kobe went up one overall to a 95. He's now 30 years of age. Time is running out before he's completely washed and not the player that he is right now. LeBron is going to take home the MVP yet again, this time averaging 34 a game. Derrick Rose is the rookie of the year. Corey Maggett is the sixth man. And LeBron, the DPOI. Now for Kobe, he's going to end up making the third team, averaging 27, 5, and 5. Not averaging the stats he used to, but I mean, he does have to share the ball with LeBron. Still a very good season, shooting 50, almost 50, 40, 90, but goddamn. He shot 97% from the free throw line. Atlanta is going to be the one seed going 60 and 22. In the West, it was the Utah Jazz with the same exact record. They obviously have Carmelo Anthony. Amari Stoudemire is there as well, a 95 and 91 overall. And just like that, we have a rematch in the NBA Finals up against the Houston Rockets, the team we literally blew a 3-1 lead to last season. But now we are back. We have more experience, and we are coming for our revenge. Pause. Don't worry, we're back this season. More experience. Experience and we are way more hungry than ever before. Hopefully, we can finally get it done and win Kobe his second ring of his career. And finally, the Atlanta Hawks are going to get it done with their famous duo of LeBron and Kobe as they are going to win their very first ring together. Kobe obviously is going to get ring number two as we defeat the Houston Rockets and get a revenge over last season. Blowing a 3-1 lead in the finals is pretty embarrassing. 
But luckily, we are going to get our revenge over that and be able to raise the Larry O'Brien trophy as Kobe Nail is a two-time NBA champion as LeBron James is going to take home the finals MVP over Kobe. I mean, at this point in their careers, LeBron is the better player, so I'm not too shocked at this. I mean, LeBron put up 52-7-7 and in the closeout game, so that is definitely well-deserved. LeBron is going to average 41-8-8 and for the finals as we dominate the Rockets in five games just like we should have done last season. Steph Curry is going to go first overall to the Washington Wizards. Blake Griffin will go to the Clippers. James Harden to the Trailblazers. Ricky Rubio to the Hornets. Kobe Nail is a 95 overall. LeBron is up at a 97, just entering the prime of his career. Obviously, 31 years old for the Mamba. He's getting up there in age. LeBron will go ahead and win another MVP. Steph Curry is going to take home the Rookie of the Year and the DPOY to Kevin Garnett. Kobe is not going to make any of the All-NBA teams as he's going to end up averaging 27-6 and six uh, again shooting 50 40 90 pretty good stats to me I don't know why he's not making an All-NBA team. Maybe the competition is just too high at the moment. Atlanta is going to go 58-24, and 24, grabbing the two-seed. Milwaukee was the best in the East, and the Jazz in the West. New York is going to rally off four straight and defeat us in the conference finals. As the Sacramento Kings are going to go on and win the NBA title, Kevin Durant is your finals MVP as they beat the Knicks in Game 7. The greatest player of all time in Shaquille O'Neal has retired after 18 seasons, finishing off on the OKC Thunder. Outside of that, he played his entire career on the Miami Heat. And of course, we already know how dominant he was. Four-time champion, five-time MVP, and four-time finals MVP. John Wall is going to go first overall to the Washington Wizards. Boogie Cousins is going to go to the Trailblazers. Paul George to the Pistons. Kobe, obviously, is still going to be a 94 overall. I don't think he's going to get any better throughout the video as he is 32 years old. If anything, he's going to start decreasing year after year, probably in like two to three seasons, I'd say. LeBron is literally in the prime of his career right now. 25 years old, 97 overall. If we take a look at the entire NBA, he is the best player, followed by CP3, Kobe, T-Mac, and KG. Also, shout out Carmelo Anthony being up there. He's injured at the moment. That's why he's down at a 92. LeBron is going to win the MVP yet again. DeMarcus Cousins, the rookie of the year. Joe Smith, the sixth man, and LeBron, also the DPOI. Kobe's going to end up making the second team after Averaging 26, 5, and 5. A very good season by a 32-year-old. And I mean, he deserves to be here. He should have been here last year as well. Alongside him would be T-Mac, Melo, KG, and Yao Ming. Atlanta is going to be the one seed in the East, going 62 and 20. And Utah in the West with the same exact record. And somehow the Celtics are going to beat us in six games in the second round. As they would go on and win the NBA championship, Kevin Garnett is your finals MVP. Anything is possible. Kawhi Leonard is going to go first overall to the Pistons. Jonas Valanchunas to the Suns, Kyrie to the Nets, Jimmy Butler to the Spurs, Clay Thompson fell all the way down to the Clippers. The Mamba now has dropped down to a 93 overall. He is 33 years old. We still have a pretty good overall team that can compete for titles in the near future. LeBron again is going to win the MVP. Kawhi's the rookie of the year. John Wall, the six man, and LeBron, the DPOI. Kobe is not going to make any of the all NBA teams as he's going to end up only averaging 24 and five. Kobe at this point might honestly be washed. That is by far the worst stats of his career in like 12 seasons since his rookie year, basically when he averaged 16. Atlanta is going to fall all the way down to the sixth seed going 46 and 36. Boston was the best in the East and Sacramento in the West. Milwaukee has basically owned us this entire video and that trend is going to continue to keep going on as they beat us in six games in the first round. The LA Lakers are going to go on and win the NBA title. Ray Allen is your finals MVP as they defeated the Celtics in six games. Jay Kidd has retired after 18 years, finishing off on the Atlanta Hawks. He was there for his final season, but he was kind of washed at this point. Anthony Davis is going to go first overall to the Brooklyn Nets. Draymond Green will go to the Suns, Andre Drummond to the Pistons, Dame Lillard to the Warriors, Bradley Beal to the Raptors. The Mamba has dropped down to a 92 overall, 34 years of age, probably doesn't have that much time left in the NBA, unfortunately. Again, LeBron is going to win the MVP, Anthony Davis is the Rookie of the Year, Allen Iverson the sixth man, and LeBron the DPOI. I mean, he's been dominant for the last like four years at this point. Kobe's going to end up averaging 22, 4, and 5, so a little bit of a better 
season than last year, but still not that very good. And he's been injured. He only played 75 games. He'll be out one to two weeks. The Atlanta Hawks are going to go 50 and 32. Good enough for the four seed as we are going to get swept by the Sixers in the conference finals. And of course, they would go on and win the NBA title. Elton Brand is your finals MVP, averaging 20 and 13 as they dominate the Jazz in five games. Victor Oladipo is going to go to the Detroit Pistons. Giannis will go to the Bucks, just like he did in real life. Rudy Gobert to the Nets. Dennis Schroeder to the Rockets. CJ McCollum to the Lakers. Well, the trend is going to continue as Kobe now is down at a 91 overall. 35 years old every single season for the past like three years. He has decreased in overall. So we are definitely nearing the end here. His stats aren't what they used to be either. Gilbert Arenas is going to win another MVP. Dennis Schroeder the rookie of the year. Steph Curry is actually on the bench as the sixth man and LeBron is going to win the DPOI. Kobe is only going to be averaging 19, 4, and 5. The worst stats of his career, basically. Kobe's only going to end up averaging 19, 4, and 5. He did shoot 99% from the free throw line. Atlanta Hawks are actually going to end up missing the playoffs with LeBron in the prime of his career. 37 and 45, we were the 10 seed. And the OKC Thunder will go on and win the NBA title. Joe Johnson is your finals MVP, averaging 35 a game as they swept the Bobcats. Steve Nash and Steven Jackson have both retired from the NBA. Andrew Wiggins will go first overall to the Toronto Raptors. Nikola Jokic to the Pacers. Zach Levine to the Rockets. Joel Embiid fell all the way down to the Bulls, 7th overall. I mean, at this point in his career, Kobe's an 89 overall, 36 years old, kind of washed, honestly. He can still put up almost like 20 points a game with 5 assists. Again, LeBron is going to win another MVP. Nikola Jokic is the Rookie of the Year and the 6th man, and LeBron's going to win the DPOI. Kobe's going to end up averaging 17, 3, and 5 a game shooting worse from the field and from three points. The Hawks are back in the playoffs as we grab the five seed going 47 and 35. And we lost in the first round to the Orlando Magic. As the Pistons will go on and win the NBA title, Paul George is not only the GOAT, but the finals MVP. Kevin Garnett, Allen Iverson, Ray Allen, Tim Duncan have all retired from the NBA. Chris Stapps Porzingis is going to go first overall to the Raptors, D'Lo to the Nuggets, Devin Booker to the Mavericks, and Carl Anthony Towns to the Rockets. The Mamba now is all the way down at an 86 overall, 37 years old as well. Again, LeBron is going to win another MVP. Carl Anthony Towns, the rookie of the year. Nikola Vucevic, the sixth man. And LeBron again, the DPOY. He's dominating, man. At the end of Kobe's career, only one title, nine MVPs and nine DPOYs is wild. Maybe he's going to end up as the GOAT. I mean, he can't really be the GOAT with one ring. Kobe's going to end up averaging 17, 3, and 5. A pretty similar season compared to last year where he also averaged 7. The Atlanta Hawks are going to go 49 and 33, grabbing the four seed in the East. As the Lakers are going to go on and win the title, Brandon Roy is your finals MVP. They defeated the Pistons in game seven. Ben Simmons will go first overall to the Milwaukee Bucks. Jamal Pubic Hair Murray to the Nuggets. Brandon Ingram to the Raptors. Sabonis went to the Spurs. Jalen Left Hand Brown is going to go to the Timberwolves. I mean, Kobe now is only an 83 overall, 38 years of age. I hope for his sake he decides to retire at the end of the season. He's really not the player that he once was, and Atlanta is going nowhere in the playoffs. John Wall is going to take home the MVP. Ben Simmons, the Rookie of the Year. CJ McCollum, the Sixth Man. And again, LeBron, the DPOI. Kobe Bryant is only going to be averaging 16, 3, and 5 a game as he's 38 years old year 21 as well as the hawks are going to be the four seed again this time going 51 and 31 and of course we got dominated in round number one just like we do pretty much every other season as the lakers are going to win another title brandon roy the finals mvp they dominated the wizards in five games and finally after 21 years in the nba kobe bryant has decided to retire a very different career than he had in real life obviously staying on the charlotte hornets the team that he was drafted to or a career he's going to average 25 4 and 5 on 50 40 90 he's going to end up as a two-time nba champion no mvps or finals mvps a 16-time all-star four teams on the first he's going to end up as a two-time champion no mvps or finals mvps a 16-time all-star 
only four times on the first team, five on the second, and three on the third. He is going to end up finishing with the most points in NBA history at 42,000. He's going to have the second most field goals made at 15,000. Free throws, he's going to be third all time, only behind MJ and Moses Malone. He's going to end up third all time for 50 point games at 18, and third all time for 40 point games with 141. And that is going to do it for Kobe Bryant's career if he was not traded to LA. Honestly, in real life, he had a much better NBA. NBA career so it's probably good that he got traded regardless let me know in the comments what you would like to see next i would like to say thank you all for watching and until next time don't be silly rap your willy really.